Ruiz has to get knocked out. This is America. He must be doing it. They're the ones that are doing it themselves. This was a no-brainer for me. This is America. If you're a world champion, and you're a champion of the world. This is America. I want Joshua. I've done extra training days for this. He's been dodging me, ducking me. A human part of him finally came out. And I was like, whoa. There's no place for him boxing. Getting under my skin isn't the wisest thing to do. <laughs> It's unbelievable how far and how wide sports can take you and the things that you get um, access to. So the New York uh, Stock Exchange was phenomenal. <laughs> I met some really influential, good, experienced, wise men and women. How was everything? I'm only a product of what I've learned through the sport of boxing and the people I've met. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care. All right. So when um, a new president comes into power, yeah. does that affect the market as well? Because it of... does, yeah, it does. I'm sure there's some like, really good people who trade out there that do great business but won't get the opportunity. What can happen like, if inflation just keeps on happening and rising? And, well, you know? you know, the last crash was 2008. Correct. Where the markets went down about 25%, which yeah. is enormous. But without the success in the ring, these things wouldn't be possible. Being a good ambassador of your sports opens up many doors. Do you know what it is? I've got a son who's three years old, and I really want him to get understand the economy because I had to go to fighting. You know, so I didn't get to learn about this stuff. Yeah. But this stuff is what makes the world go round. Being smart and educated is a new call in 2019. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Face off, face off. Stop Come face off. Come face off. Calm down. Calm down? Calm down. No, it's calm, it's calm. Big man thing, it's calm, people, it's calm. Calm, calm, calm. His character shows this type of style of boxing he has. So I looked at him and I realised that a pressure fighter is someone who tries to put pressure on people. I didn't expect him to push me, but what I did, where he made the mistake, I felt his power. I knew what he possessed. I didn't put my hands on Miller, so he don't know what I had possessed. So when I got in that ring and I was going to punch him up, it would have been a shock to him. I felt what Miller can do, and it wasn't anything special. Come. Come and face off. Shut the f up, man. Yeah, Calm down. Come. PD, That's man. what I want to hear. That's no, no, no. what I want to hear. If, if you're a man, come and face off here. Come face off here. Come and face off here. Yeah. Come on, face off here. I'm right here, you're talking too much. Come on, tell him to come and face off here. You come up here. You come up here. Millard got under my skin, yeah, he did. He did, for sure. And um, getting under my skin isn't the wisest thing to do. You cut Drum Miller in half and it'd just be a ranking disease. I feel like he's toxic. I feel like you can put any top heavyweight in the world up here. And he'll probably say the same thing about them all. So it's just him as a person. And then uh, he just needs a beat down, needs humbling. And instead of eating cheeseburgers, I'm going to feed him some humble pie. I'm a professional, and I know the responsibilities I have to carry being a boxing champion or being a boxer in general. So I didn't kind of rise to it, even though I wanted to. He's a really nice bloke, and 
you know, everybody likes him and stuff, but ultimately he's a fighter. And if somebody challenges him, he, he'll, you know, he'll react the way he reacted. And that was to be hostile as well and to be, you know, not aggressive, but just to be confrontational in his own way. But yeah, no, he's, he's no person to be pushed around and you underestimate somebody like Big Josh at your peril. It came out, a, a human part of him finally came out. See what I'm trying to say? That's how he, that's how he talks behind closed doors. Oh, he's a piece of, that's how he talks. He's not built like that, but that's how he's talked, though. He gave me the motivation I needed to go out there and, and whoop him. Does this give you an extra little incentive in training, or is there a worry as well that you could get back into a fire fest like you did with Dillian? Yeah, fire fest, I always win. Boxing matches, I always win. So whichever one they want, they can You're not worried? No, 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 not at all, not at all. Like, I live for it, so um, may the best man win. You know, got big head, big body, easy target. Anthony Joshua may need to find a new opponent for his US debut on June the 1st. Carol Miller recorded an adverse findings in a drug test. Miller denies knowingly taking a banned substance. He cheated the sport of boxing by failing not one drug test, but three drug tests with three different substances inside his body. Nothing surprises me, to be honest with you. Um, it is like, it's just my outlook on life. It is what it is and we've got to keep on moving. The wheel that we're on right now in 2019 is too fast to get caught up and worry about certain situations. The question I had is, what's next? Huge disappointment, but there was a positive in it that there was still six or seven weeks. I've been doing my research on you. Who comes out of Olympics at 220 and go to 240 in a year? Like, get out of here, man. You sound like a I know bodybuilders don't even put 20 pounds of muscle on a year. Did it make you angry that he accused you of taking performance-enhancing drugs and yet he was the one that was doing it? Yeah, it's, it's funny because the last three people that have are the ones who have been caught on drugs. Guys that are talking about it, they're not really about it. They don't know what hard work is. You know, they don't really know what hard work is. They just say that, oh yeah, he must be doing it because they're the ones that are doing it themselves. But I feel like when they talk about it, it's because they know. How the hell has this boy moved up the ranks so quick because they don't know what hard work is and dedication, so they blame it on drugs. When you're being hit while you're trying to win a round or win a contest against somebody who's highly skilled, is dangerous in itself. But then to, to add on top of that, you know, enhancement drugs and, and giving themselves an advantage where they're stronger, fit, can take more punishment, can, can fight at a higher pace all night. It's just really disappointing that somebody would go down that road. And I think everyone should should jump all over people who take enhancement drugs because there's no place for it in boxing. The news has just dropped confirmation that he will be fighting the Mexican based in America, Andy Ruiz Jr. This is a real fight. This is a tough fight. This kid can fight. This guy has fast hands. This guy has a big heart. This guy has a good amateur pedigree. This guy has Mexico behind him. And once we got the deal in place, this was a no brainer for me. His strengths, I would say, is the ability to come forward and um, absorb punishment and avoid punishment as well, because a come forward fighter seems to walk into punishment, but he doesn't take too much stick. Um, he can knock guys out, so that means he's heavy handed. When I listen to what he says in his interviews, he's looking for the biggest upset in 2019. Everybody's underestimating me, just the way that I look and all that. If it was supposed to be on appearance, I would win every time. Some boxers who look like Mr. Universe and they're tied in three or four rounds. The ones in boxing who knows they're boxing know that this is a big, credible fight. Ruiz has got speed in both hands. I have hard, I throw a lot of punches. Good jab, good boxing ability. He can throw left at right hook, left at right hook, left at right hook, uppercut. He's got decent power. I'm gonna show the world what I could do. He put his name on a dotted line. Where many people didn't, he did. And that shows me strength in itself. I started my career off in the UK, um, been fighting out of there since an amateur. And I feel like the sport is becoming more global. I feel like it's all connected now. If you're a world champion, you're a champion of the world. The opportunity to fight at one of the world's greatest arenas um, in Madison Square Garden, I couldn't turn that opportunity down. Jack Dempsey, Joe Lewis, yes. Muhammad Ali, Rocky Marciano, yes. they have all fought in the garden. Yeah. So for you to finally take that step, how important is it? Massively. I always say it felt like I was posting my name in a letterbox amongst these great <laughs> fighters, you know. And it's one thing being amongst them, but in that sentence that you just mentioned, um, Jack Dempsey, Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, 
where will the name Andy Joshua ring in years to come? But what someone said to me, and I don't know who it was, I think it was Tracy Morgan. He goes, man, your son going to say, my dad was the heavyweight champion of the world. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I see the spirit, yep. the determination. Yep. I see it. ain't nobody defeating that. Yep. That's what I said. It's the not just about stakes. you got, Tyson had, Ali had. Yep. All of them had. Yep. You come from a long line of champions. Yep. You the heavyweight champion in the world. Yep. I love you, B. Love you too, brother. That's when it hit me. I thought, my son's going to kind of hopefully feel that pride and that honor. That was a pinch me moment when he said that. We actually have the scale from the fight of the century. Oh, wow. So you talk a lot about fighting, you know, following the footsteps of the great fighters in advance. This is literally a That's century. literally the one? Yeah. The one, sir. <sighs> Am I just going to float? Stepping on the scales, we have the current heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony, the landlord, Joshua. These great men, they don't just become icons and legends because of what they do in the ring. Sometimes it's what they use their platform for, and I'm starting to understand that. So good fighters are always good fighters. Good men are hard to find, and that's what these men separate themselves from. We could have trained in New York. Coach said, come here, train. Klitschka spoke to him, he, he trained here as well. It's got great history. I follow him in the footsteps of like the great champion, Vladimir Klitschko. So we're going tonight then, lads. <laughs> Ben, where are we going tonight then, buddy? <laughs> you could catch me, Ray, in the new love for all. And the truck behind me got on. Nikki B, yeah? Come on! Hey, hey, Nikki B, yeah? You think it's me, Hey, salad for me! I've done extra training days for this. <laughs> My training camp officially starts next Tuesday. <laughs> So I've always heard that saying, a happy fighter is a good fighter. And each individual, you know, uses different things and finds out different ways to keep them occupied and keep them happy. And for me, it was just like communication within the team. I'm at peace, I'm relaxed. I've been in New York first, I settled in. Now we're here. It's just a bit more airy, do you know what I mean? Palm trees, sunshine. I've got my whole team here. Some more of them are coming out. Um, I'm settled at home. But what I do feel like is that it's a complete new chapter. Everything that I achieve over there, or everything that I've been trying to achieve over there, has no weight over here to a certain extent. I've got to kind of build up my profile and maintain that discipline and hunger that I kept in the UK. Travelled here today. Mm -hmm. Nice chilled out one tonight. Gonna to swim in the morning. Yeah. Just get you moving, get you out in the sun, get you sleep adjusted. You know, I've run here already as well. I know, yeah, you didn't need to, but fair play. I just want... Commitment, mate. It's commitment. Yeah. We just didn't want to put anything intense until you've had 48 oh. hours on the ground. Can I, I give... Can, yeah, can I ask you... Can I, what, the worst sort of risk is that there's a little niggle or injury getting off the plane, innit? What's your thoughts of this? Banging out an SSC session in the morning tomorrow and getting that done? It's too long. Do you think so? Yeah. Remember, I've been in New York for a while. I know, we've just been sat on planes all day and sat in studios. And I think just chill, mate. Don't rush it. I know you get anxious and think, like, I want to work hard. Mm. Rob's the same. Rob will be wanting to work, work, work. Yeah. Like, but we left Sheffield. Yeah. We're, like, so far ahead on our round counts. Like, we've so done so that? We're far ahead on the round counts? Yeah, big time. So does that mean that... Big time. No, no. <laughs> does that mean i got time to uh, yeah. go and explore go Miami? Mm. But again, I'd encourage you to, if you're going to do it... You'd do encourage it. me to explore Miami? I'll, I'll do it tonight and tomorrow, like, and then nah, it's going to get hard Friday, mate. I I want to do it Friday. Then, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's more Miami on a Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> it's more Miami on a Tuesday. I'm hey, looking at Friday. Chris Marshall's going to be here, the psychologist. So you can do the Rui brief on Sunday. I'm gonna, boxing, yeah. I'm boxing. So we'll go to the gym. We've got a uh, we've got an analysis sort of suite set up down there. So when you're wrapping your hands and get rid of second, you get a full brief. Like Chris has done the full breakdown yeah. of uh, Ruiz's previous fights. Um, so yeah, you and Rob can go through that and then straight into the ring and put some of it into practice. Sounds good. He's deadly serious, he's deadly professional, AJ, and he takes the training really serious, so there's, there's never going to be a problem with him whatever country you're in. Just do two lamps, whatever stroke you want, to start off. Two lamps, and then we'll see. See, where's the... Instead of, then we'll... No, let's do five, 
And then we'll stop in that end, and then I need you doing some plyos, I need you doing some little bad stuff. How long do you want to swim for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes of swimming? Yeah, that's the I'm an athlete. For me, that's like you doing a five minutes. I think you don't understand how fit I am. Yeah. <laughs> an athlete's job is to rest and train and repeat. Just keep professional, because the professionals are the ones who elevate and the ones who aren't, they don't go anywhere. I want to work. Yeah. You can't stop someone from like pushing. Yeah. Go on then. It's like if someone wants to push themselves, but yeah. then you always have these debates. I just know, Rob's landing tomorrow, you got your hard work ahead. It's time to work, still have fun, but know your limits. How you doing? Hey, Rory, how you doing? nice how you doing? to see you. You well? Yeah, good. Yeah, What's boss. happening? Good to okay. see you. How are you doing? Good. Okay. I said this is better than training in Sheffield. So I'll say <laughs> AJ's awesome. He's, uh, I've been a big fan for a long time. He's a real G and I've got a lot of respect for him. Young guy, doing really well for himself and his mind's in the right place. You know, we've got similar setups as well. Because being in like London, training, Sheffield training and then competing in London, it's like something new. It's like a new chapter. Yeah, yeah. It almost gives you a go. Almost gives you like a new energy, like, yeah, like a yeah. like an, like it's a new chapter. Like you're turning over a new leaf. It's sort of, I don't know. Yeah, I I feel out of it sometimes. If like I, you know, if I've played over in Europe a lot, and then it's like right, I'm going to commit to being over here, yeah, for a yeah. while. It's like it gives you just that bit more energy to. He's got a good communication base with his team and stuff like that, so we can relate on so many different bases. I look at what he does, and I'm inspired and. You know, even just coming here and seeing him today, um, you know, it's cool to see his life and see what goes into to preparing for a big fight. And have you got any connections for the bigger golf clubs? Yeah, 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 don't worry. I can, I can get you sorted out, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We don't want you hurting your back, it's fine. It'll be all right. Good. Good, there you go. Do I feel the pressure to perform well? Ruiz has to get knocked out. That's the difference, good. One more, let's take our time, let's just set it up, even calmer. As he comes, there you go, good. Beautiful, one more. There you go, beautiful. Beautiful, that's beautiful boxing. Good, that's lovely, Josh. And again, pop that long jab. There you go, and again. There you go, good. Beautiful, pop that long one too, pop on yourself. One more. One more. Beautiful. Good. That's what we've got to bring him on to. Yeah, so. Nobody can take them. Who can take them? Nobody. Yeah. That's it. Beautiful. Good. Set him up again with that faint. Breathing. Breathing. Fainting. That's it. Nice and calm. Beautiful. We go with that one too again. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Long as you do the timing on it, that's all that matters. Because early on, if you look for power, you, you, you waste energy. Then that power evaporates. When they're tired, you ain't got the power to take them out. So you've got to open up in the gap for no reason. So just relax, yeah. flow. Just pop off Good that feet, reach. You were saying. Just Little pop off that reach. And any time you move, that should be that. That should be that. Yeah. That's and then the, the controls down the middle, all right? Yeah, yeah. That's Control, what smooth, yeah. relax, relax, relax. Last minute, mate. That'll do you then. Up a got. Good. Right hand. Good. Good. Left hook high. Good. Up got high. And again. Good. How far are you willing to go to make sure that the fight with Deontay Wilder does happen? As far as I have been. My intentions have been pure. I want Joshua. He's been dodging me, ducking me, and I was like, whoa. So I call Eddie, has there been any conversation between you and the Wilder camp? No, we ain't heard a peep. I said, so why is he calling my name out saying I've been ducking and dodging it? I feel like we've been stuck at a big hurdle with this last WBC, bro. I've shown my cards, so I've laid them all out on the table. So you've got a chance to beat me, 
and have the key to the city. You have a chance to earn your biggest prize money. You've got a chance to fight in front of the best and the biggest crowd that boxing has to offer at Wembley Stadium. That being said, I don't know how many more cards I have to lay on your table to entice you. I'm ready to give it all. And let's start working towards the Undisputed Championship of the World. What more can I do? This is an important fight. It's a banana skin fight and a fight I can't afford to slip up. Certainly Ruiz, who's technically sound, will be a pain with his speed. Josh has got to break up them attacks, keep his rhythm and use his reach and I think he'll get him under control and I think he'll get on top of him after a few rounds. I need to kind of stay focused, stick to a game plan, don't get caught up in the new territory and trying to please everyone because at the end of the day, when the cherry's placed on the top of the cake, everyone's happy and that's the knockout in boxing and that's what I'm going to deliver.